Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw. Today I am reviewing the brand new album from the almighty Behemoth entitled The Satanist. Let's talk about this album. Behemoth is one of those bands that I've always gone back to to listen to their past work from time to time, and I've always enjoyed their music. Now, there was a huge scare a couple years ago about whether the band was even going to continue with all the health issues with Nurgle and stuff like that. Just wondering, you know, what's going to happen to the band? Because they were one of those few bands that I really just went back and listened to from time to time and I've always enjoyed their music. So it was kind of just worrying about, you know, what's going to happen with the band? Is it going to continue? Are they going to stop? I mean, just all these things were going on with uh, fans of the band. And finally, 2014, we are now given a brand new album from the band entitled... The Satanist. Great name, by the way. It kind of sums up the band in, in a sort of kind of way. Now, this is an album that I was anticipating for a while because eventually when Nurgle got better, you know, there was this whole things about, okay, they're going to be going back to do live shows and eventually went to the studio and I heard the single and I really enjoyed it and I was hoping that this album was going to, you know, kind of deliver the same atmosphere of that track, but also... You know, I was gonna. I was just curious if this band is going to dive in, into some new territories, kind of expand, or if they're going to kind of stick to the same formula, kind of be comfortable, or is this going to be the album that Behemoth comes back into the metal world, and this album basically states, we are back. Behemoth is back. And in reality, those things that I just mentioned, this album is all of those things and even more. This album goes into some new territories. It's not it's nothing to be scared about. This album also stays in the comfortable range of what the band has done previously. And this album is the almighty comeback of Behemoth. And that was just something that I think that makes this album even better is that it's just it's not just another Behemoth record. It's not just another album with Behemoth and they're just writing new material. It's not just the basic thing of new Behemoth album, new Behemoth songs. That's it. This album is more than that. And also, this album is not just a one listening album either. You can't listen to it one time and go, okay, I heard everything. That is definitely not the case at all. If you look at the basic formulas and not really, you know, get yourself into the music... Maybe you could say that. Maybe you could say it's a one listening album and that's it. It's just another behemoth record. But if you really dig deep and really listen to the lyrical content, really get into the music, really understand what this album is trying to deliver to the audience, then you will understand that this album is way more and much more than just another behemoth record for the fans. This is the comeback album. This is an album where more emotion is put into it lyrically, vocal wise performance wise from the band all of that and that that's one thing that I really really enjoyed and this is one of those albums for me personally that I think that I will go back to from time to time and will probably catch new things that I previously didn't catch before I had this album on repeat I just kept listening to it I kept catching new things I kept enjoying what this album provides because it's a very strong album it's a very good comeback it's a comeback that will be looked upon as one of the best comebacks from a band that has kind of went through this kind of scare and issue. This album is dark. This album is heavy. This album is technical. This album is aggressive. Any words you could form of saying this album is epic, any words associated with that and also dark, evil, stuff like that, this album is all of those things and even more. At some points, I was going, what is the right words to basically describe this song? Describe this part. Describe this entire album. And at some points, I couldn't think of a word because there's so much going on in this album. It's not just another Behemoth record. It's so much more than that. It felt like all the band members, not just Nurgle with his past issues, it felt like every single band member put so much more into this album. So much more effort. So much more you know, thinking about what they're going to be doing. What are they going to be putting here? What is the musical stuff going to be here? The lyrical content, everything. It felt like that each band member put everything they could into this album, especially Nurgle. He definitely put a lot of force into his vocals. You could definitely tell that his lyrical content is very precise. It's aggressive. It is just a nightmare is <laughs> kind of the word that I kept thinking of. A lot of great stuff from all the band members. 
this is an album I think that they'll be remembered by as an album, not only as the comeback record from them having a a, a long time of not really gonna see what's going to happen next, but definitely an album I think that's going to be looked upon as one of their greatest albums they've ever done. Am I saying it's their best album they've ever done? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure if it's the best album, but I've seen a lot of people, a lot of fans have commented on singles and reviews of this album as well, like online written reviews, saying this is their greatest album. I'm going to say it is one of the greatest albums they have done. I don't know if it's the best or the greatest, but it's definitely an album that every single Behemoth fan, even if you're a small Behemoth fan or the biggest Behemoth fan, this album you need to listen to right now i don't care if you watch the rest of this review if you want to go listen to it right now i don't care you can click off me and go listen to it it's one of those albums that definitely deserves some of your time it doesn't matter what time but you have to listen to this album in its entirety and discover what this album will give to you the listener now, I'm going to go through some of my personal favorite tracks and I'll also talk about the entire band and talk about the production quality with their sound of their instruments and all that and vocals. So, yeah. So, in the description is always the track listing for this album, for any album. And some of the songs on this album, as I'm going to go through my personal favorite tracks, I will not try to pronounce because there's no way I'm going to be correct and I will butcher, I'll prob- on, I will butcher... I will butcher the names of some of these songs. So I'm probably going to say this track, full name, and then the other track, I'll say just track number, and that's it because I won't try to pronounce it. So if you're really interested, just check the description and read along with the track listing if you're really curious about what what the song names are. You'll understand if you look up the track listing. So, of course, Blow Your Trumpets, Gabriel, the opening track, the single. Definitely a great opening track. This track really does set up how this rest of this album is going to go. It really does give the listener kind of an idea of what this album is going to deliver. Now, it doesn't give you everything, so don't expect to listen to the first track and go, ah, I know it's going to be, I know how this album is going to go. You're going to be wrong. Trust me. I thought that this album is going to be kind of similar to Blow Your Trumpets, Gabriel. It kind of is, but in the majority of it, it's not. So please keep listening on after that track. So track number two, three, and four, I'm not going to try to pronounce those, so there's that. Track number six, The Satanist, the actual title track. Track seven and eight, and track nine, O Father, O Satan, O Son. Now, I didn't say track number, I didn't say track number five, which is Amen. I thought that was a great, a great track, but it's the other eight tracks I feel like out of these nine tracks that are my personal favorites for many different reasons. Lyrically, lyrically wise, vocal wise, drums, guitars, bass, all of that good stuff. There's just so much stuff to listen to. It's kind of hard to explain everything because there's so much to talk about. If I literally explained every single thing that I like about this album and love about this album, this review will be probably 25, 30 plus minutes. So I want you guys to discover everything for yourself. But I'm just telling you right now, I recommend this album really, really now. You really, really now. Probably not correct English. But like I said, I do recommend this album to go listen to it right now. At any point, you can. Let's go through the personnel. Let's start off with Nurgle. Of course, lead vocals and guitars. Let's talk about his vocal performance and his lyrical content. Lyrical content. It is dark. It is aggressive. What 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 have you expected from Behemoth in the past? That type of stuff that he's talked about before on past albums, it's going to happen here. It's very dark. It's very evil sounding. The Satanist, that's the uh, title of the album, so that should be kind of a giveaway of what this album's going to be delivering, but very powerful lyrics. Now, his vo- vocals are the most aggressive I've heard on an album to date. That I, th- That's my personal opinion. They are so aggressive, and I think he put so much into his vocal performance because all these things that he went through, there was so much health issues of, like, if he's is he going to die, all these things, so I bet that that really pushed him to be more aggressive on this album to really put more emotion behind his vocals he is very aggressive on this album so i definitely recommend that this is an album that i think it's it's at least his best vocal performance at least in my personal opinion definitely an eye-opener i'm just like whoa this guy has a lot of things to say and he's saying it in a very powerful way let's talk about guitars with nurgle and then talk about seth on guitars i'm hoping i'm saying his nickname right 
The guitars on this album are what you'd expect from Behemoth. They are very aggressive, technical. There are some melodic moments. There are some solo work, which I felt like was very powerful and very technical and just really fit right along with the music. But the rhythm section, I love the guitar tone they picked. It is very dark. It's what you'd expect from past releases from the band. Black, black, uh, black metal type sound from the guitars. But there are some melody parts that I think that people, that fans will enjoy. It kind of, you know, it doesn't make the album all aggressive and technical all the time there's some parts where the riffs are very groovy and it gives more to the song than just very fast alternate picking very fast riffs there's some more to it so it's kind of that melody driven riff so i like that from them let's talk about orion on his bass his bass can clearly be heard on this album and i like that and any type of band that can have the bass turned up his bass playing is very aggressive and powerful. It really does match along with the intensity of the guitars and the drums, which we'll talk about in a second. But the bass playing, I felt like, was amazing because it's not only just following following the guitars and the aggressiveness and the groovy and the melody and all that stuff. It's there's there's certain parts where he's playing a completely different section than what the guitars are playing, and he's kind of doing his own thing and kind of adding another element to a song here or a, or a, a part here or something like that. It's just something that where he's giving more than just being a bass player following the guitars. He's actually giving us more than that, and so I enjoyed that. And it really, I think the bass was a, a huge thing for this album. It definitely pushed this album higher up, I think, for me liking it and loving it, so... Good stuff on the bass. Now, Inferno on drums. This man is a monster. He is a beast. He is so aggressive on those drums. The drumming is just insane, and it is just some of the best drumming I've heard from him in a while. It is very technical, blast beats, double bass. And when the songs are not the technical, fast aggressiveness that we've known from Behemoth and when they're kind of pulled back, he's playing some awesome drum beats. His drum fills are very powerful. And I felt like that overall, his drum sound is very... It, it goes right along with the guitars and drum, uh, guitars and bass and vocals. I feel like his drum sound really fits well with the rest of the band. And overall, the whole entire band sounds tight. They sound like they are re the return to form. And overall, it's just a great sound from the band. And I think that the production of all the different, the vocals, the instruments, really, I think, makes this album even better. And there's so many more people that were featured on this album playing different types of um, instruments. And so... Those gotta be those guys gotta be recognized too for sure because they really enhanced certain parts and certain sections on this album. Overall, the Satanist is an album that I think will go down, like I said, as one of those great, amazing albums from Behemoth and probably one of their best albums, or to some people, their best their best work to date. So if you're a Behemoth fan, once again, please go check out this album as soon as you can. See what you think. And uh, as always, guys, you know, comment down below and let me know what you think about this album, what's your favorite track, what you like. And if you don't like it, let me know why you don't like this album. Maybe there's something that, you know, you that you caught that maybe I didn't hear. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. That is my review of Behemoth the Satanist. For me personally, this album is definitely a 10 out of 10. I'm going to have to give it that rating. It's definitely an album that deserves it and it has so much going for it. And I just love it. So I'm going to go listen to it right now again. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, 10 out of 10. If you like the video, like the video. And if you want to see me, click my name or subscribe to see more of me and my videos. So thank you guys for watching. See ya.